Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can use google app script to send out emails multiple emails to multiple people so first of all you need to go to google app script and we will be building this application so just go to google app script and click on start scripting and you are here you need to create a new project here simply click on this button new project and basically guys you can follow the step by step blog post and i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website webninjadeveloper.com so the link will be there inside the description of this video you you can just read the this step by step blog instruction where i have shown you all the screenshot that you want to do so it's better that you uh, read this blog post alongside with watching this video so just go to the description of this video to get all the source code so now guys inside this uh, google script file here you need to write a new function here we will write this function as send mail and uh, send mail message and basically we will be executing this function so the very first thing guys we can use either two approaches we can use either the gmail app or we can use the mail app these are the two libraries that we can use inside google app script to send out gmail messages and receive it so first of all i will show you the very basic approach we will construct a message object and here guys we will be having the different kinds of fields out there this is a two field so this is the email address to which you need to send out the email so i will write this email so first of all i will show you how to send out to a only one people which is a single person so put a comma and then the subject of the message what is the subject inside this object so we will simply say this is the sample <coughs> google app script message so this will be the subject guys put a comma and then we have the body of the message so basically in the body this is the body of the message that's it put a comma and the next field guys which will be cc value you can just set, set these but these are not necessary and also we have a reply to field also so whenever you want to reply to then you can simply say help at the rate coding com. so whenever you click the reply button this email address will automatically gets inserted and here you can also provide a name to your let's suppose i provide my own name so this will be embedded inside the message all these fields that's all guys after that you can use this mail app library guys this is the actual library which is used to send out messages and basically it contains a method called as send email you can even uh, get the remaining co daily quota as well so basically you get a uh, you get a limited amount of daily quota to send out messages i think it's 200 it is more than enough so basically now to save your project simply click on save and uh, now we have this method here which is send mail message so this is a run button guys so if you click this button your function will run so now basically we will select this method which is send email and here we will pass our object with which is message so this will send out this email address to this email address guys so now if i click run button so first of for the first time we need to first of all grant the permission guys so there will be a pop-up window which will appear to you you need to grant the permission to send out email addresses so here you need to it says that this project requires your permission to access your data so simply click this option and simply select your account go to advanced option and this one and simply grant the permission so this will allow the project to send email as you so basically it's not using the gmail api it's just using this uh, mail mail app so click on allow and uh, now once it is executed you will see in the console execution started and completed and now if i open my address here which is this one and you will see the email message is received you can see my name is written here this is the sample google app script message if i click this is the body of the message so we have successfully sent out the email address to this specified email and if i click reply here automatically you will see this email that i mentioned here help at the rate coding is there 
this is coming because we have set all these values here you can customize these values name reply to the body subject of the email address two fields you can all customize inside your google app script so this makes it very much easy to send out messages and the nice thing about is that you can also use the second parameter here let's suppose i want to send out to multiple people so i can simply type here put a comma here and then we can send out to multiple people so let me route write a second one this is the second email address so now if i click the run button again guys so you will see it will send out to two two people at once so now if i check my this one you can see this is a sample google app script message this is received here you can see that let me open this id you can see that this is the sample google app script message so with this application you can send out to multiple email addresses at once so if you are looking for marketing or anybody you need to send out email addresses to you just need the email addresses simply use the script and you can do that and now that i will show you the second approach guys which uses the gmail app and for that you need to allow access to your gmail account so that i prefer this approach because it only requires a single permission but you can even use the second approach as well let me show you so in the second approach we have the gmail app and uh, this contains a method here which is called as send email the gmail api contains a method send email which allows you to send out messages so here basically you can send out messages like this let me again write put a comma and then you just need to write the email addresses to which you need to send out so these are the two email addresses and now put a comma and the second argument it takes guys is the subject <laughs> so let me just write a subject uh, gmail api message and then the third argument guys it takes it's uh, basically takes a object third one is empty like this and the fourth one is an object and inside this object guys it takes uh, various fields out there which is the body of the message this is inside html body you can write anything here h1 this is the heading you can even just write html tags as well put a comma and then we have our from address you can also customize this also let's suppose i say here admin at the rate coding com. so i will customize this from as well so this will the message will be coming from this address so you can even customize this also now if i click run here so now you need to grant the permission to use your gmail account guys so again you need to review permissions and you need to now select your account so this time you need to allow the permissions from gmail account so it can read compose send and permanently delete all your email from gmail so this is slightly allowing more permissions but uh, i will prefer the first approach which uses less permissions you will see execution started completed and now if i once again check here you will see if i now check here <laughs> sometimes it can take some time guys for sending it yeah i think you can prefer the first approach this also works but it takes some time because you are allowing the gmail api to send out email addresses so i think you can use the first approach mail api it's better and it also requires less permissions as well so it totally depends upon you which approach you want to use so thanks very much for watching this video guys and uh, go to the blog post to get all the source code please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video